All right, we're going to take a look at our newest template release called Court Order. Uh, so this is going to be great for basketball and volleyball. And so I thought we would just do a quick walkthrough of the layers here and see some of the options and things. So let's just start at the bottom. Um, so we have some different smoke layers and things here that can be turned on in the background. When we get up to our scoreboard here, this is where we got a couple neat things going on here. So I'm just going to expand our scoreboard group here. And in here we have the scoreboard layer and then we have a reflection layer for it. So what's cool about this is, is the way this smart object is set up is the reflection is going to automatically update based on the changes we make to the scoreboard. Uh, so you won't actually have to make any changes to the reflection layer at all. And so let's demonstrate that a little bit. And what I'll do is I'll turn this text off just so we can see our reflection in the floor here. So our scoreboard is a smart object. We can tell because of this little uh, icon we got in the corner of the thumbnail here. And what we're going to do to edit this scoreboard is just double click on this uh, corner icon. What that's going to do is open us up a new document that just has our scoreboard in it. So you're going to see several layers here within this smart object. So at the bottom we've got our scoreboard. Uh, the next we've got a scoreboard color and this is where we can come through uh, with our hue, saturation, lightness sliders and we can kind of make this whatever we color we want it to be. So if we want it to be red we'll slide it there. Uh, we've got some shadowing on here and then all of these folders are where you can manually set the numbers for every one of these uh, sections of the scoreboard. Uh, so let's say we want to change the home score. What we would do is just expand this We've got each of the three digits set up here. So let's say we want to turn the first digit off and we'll take digit two and we just need to turn on and off what we want. So we'll turn the zero off and let's say we want to make it a three. Uh, so it's just really as simple as that. You're just going to expand these groups for whatever section you want. Uh, in the visitor, we would drop that down. Uh, let's change digit three to a, a nine. We'll turn our zero off. There we go. So pretty straightforward there. So once we get everything set that the way we like here on the scoreboard, what we're going to do is just close this document. It's going to ask us to save. We're going to say yes. And this is going to update the smart object in our template. And so what you're going to notice right off the bat is our reflection has changed color here. And if we change any of the numbers, all of that's going to just automatically update based on that smart object. So pretty cool little feature there. So let's go on up here. We also have our volleyball net layer in here. Uh, within this, we also have the post color that can be changed here. Again, hue saturation uh, adjustment layer. So we could just move that slider if we want that to be red. Maybe push it on down this way. And there we go. So we can make those reds match. We also have our bleachers independently layered. If we expand these groups, uh, another cool little feature in here is that you can change each of the section colors of these bleachers. So by default they're blue and yellow, but if we turn these layers on again, we can move our hue slider and set these to whatever we'd like them to be for each section. So simple as that. So we got the left and right bleachers. We got some additional smoke that can be thrown in there. Uh, we have our basketball goals, the right and the left, both independently layered, where those can be moved around as well. We have a flood fill layer here. So this can be turned on if you want more of a mon monochromatic look to uh, the template. That's an option that's in there. We have our subject group, where you'll just drop your team or your subjects in here. This is where you want those placed. Uh, the facial highlight layers uh, is, is a common one that I put in mind, and that's just to bring those uh, highlights back out on the faces as they tend to get a little dim from the color grading layers here. Again, color grading layers can be expanded. You can adjust each of these if you don't want uh, them to be so strong. You can always pull down the opacity on those. This just darkens our foreground up a little bit just to bring some more attention up into the, the design and then our standard text layers which are just easily edited right here and we'll apply that and so simple as that so I think you'll see it's a pretty simple layout but we got a lot of cool little features in there going on and so one other thing I would like to point out with this template is that we also have this pre-formatted not only in the 2-1 ratio 
which is good for your banners and things, you know, 3x6, 4x8 banners. But also have this pre-formatted in a 3-2 ratio, which is going to be great for 4x6s, 8x12s, prints of that nature. And also have it pre-formatted in a 4-5 ratio, which is great for your 8x10s, 16x20s, things like that. So those should be set up, ready to go for you. You're going to have six different uh, pre-formatted templates because I have all three of these in the horizontal and the vertical layout. So you should be set up and good to go. So I hope you'll give this one a try.